Hi, I am Uwepan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, it is a pleasure to have you watch this video. In today's video, I want to speak about the prerequisites for your elevation. Everybody desires elevation in life. Elevation at work, which is promotion. Elevation in relationship, which is the relationship moving from a lower place to a higher place. From a place of lesser intimacy to a place of deeper intimacy. Could be as a single. Your elevation could be you want to move from a place of being a single to getting married. As a married person, maybe you don't have a child yet. Your elevation could be I want to become a parent. But in all, in order to get elevation in life, Bible says that the prerequisite for elevation is humility. And this word elevation is kind of all encompassing because you can apply it in different areas of your life. You can talk about it as honor, you can talk about it as favor. And in this video, I want to focus on the thought around humility. I know hearing that word alone could give you a little pushback, like humility is a prerequisite for elevation. Yes, that's what the Bible says. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. For the people that were Sunday school students, you could remember the song. If you humble yourself before the Lord, he will lift you up. It is true, but we've had so many misconceptions around humility that once that word is mentioned, you think weakness instead of virtue. You think humiliation instead of honor. You think every other negative thing because of the misconception. And in this video, we'll deal with that myth around humility. And then we talk about the things to note about humility, which are related to your elevation in life. Then we'll deal with what humility really looks like. With this, I believe that God will use this to help you get to a place of embracing humility and wearing it as a cloth such that you come to the realization that through humility, God will lift you up. Your motive should not be to be humble to get the elevation, but being humble should be your posture, should be how you live. The Bible says, and Jesus humbled himself even to the death of the cross, and because of his humility, he was honored and God highly exalted him and gave him a name above all other names that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee in heaven on earth and beneath the earth should bow. So now the Bible says we should have the mind of Christ. What is the mind of Christ? It is in respect to his humility, which means humility as a word is just to be like Jesus. And that is our calling as Christians is to become more like Jesus. So these are things to note about humility. Number one, humility attracts favor. Naturally, someone that wants to get favor from another tries to be humble. You see that person being so loyal, respectful, and so humble according to what we see. But it could be false, could be a pretense to humility. But whatever it is, when that person wears that attitude, it makes the person that wants to favor them happy to do that so humility itself attracts favor it is true though some people just want to look pitiable to get help humility is not that downgradable attitude of trying to suppress yourself or look lowly before people just to get help from them so humility is not about carrying that pity face but it is a confidence and an excellence that you wear such that when you get to a place people know you have confidence and you have a potential to do what is before you to do that is humility it attracts favor and i could talk about this in the case of david when david went to the valley of Elah to give food to his brothers and he overheard goliath in the normal sense it would look like david was proud to go to want to face goliath but it wasn't pride it was actually humility because humility itself is a spirit and it's god giving him the confidence to say you can challenge this person the brother came to him and said i know you are pride i know you are proudful i know you want to come here for show off but that wasn't david's heart his heart was aligned to god and god needed someone with a righteous anger to carry on his will that is why the bible says that god abases the proud but gives grace or favor to the humble humility attracts favor by the time you understand that humility is about you living in god's will that attracts favor from god and it will also attract favor from men mary the mother of jesus was called thou an highly favored why she was not the only virgin in israel but i believe because of her humility and her way of living god chose her and she was highly favored scripture says toward the scorners he is scornful 
but to the humble it shows favor. Number two, humility brings honor. Culture says contrary. In the culture, when someone is humble, that person could be looked at as someone that could be humiliated and manipulated and used and controlled. That's far from truth. Because that's not what humility is in reality, according to the word of God. Humility is not that low self-esteem, which we'll talk about later in this video. But the culture is always against the kingdom. It does not agree. Culture could say, show yourself a little bit so that people will give you respect. But what does the Bible say? Pride ends in humiliation. Wow. While humility brings honor. It's actually the reverse according to what culture says. It's this humility that brings you to a place of honor. That's the kingdom way. But pride will only lead you to a place of humiliation. And humiliation is a forced humility, which is you are forced to be humble. You are embarrassed. You are disgraced. But humility, when you decide on your own to be yourself, not trying to be like anyone else, not carrying false pride, that brings honor. Though you may consider humility as something to not embrace, but I believe through this video, God will lead your heart to a place of embracing humility and knowing that it is real power to be humble. It is strength under control. It is not this humiliation. It is not this low self-esteem. It is not what culture has painted it to look like because of some poor people and some of the sufferings that people are going through. So people that are lowly look like, oh, these are the humble ones. But the truth is, humility is not about status. Because you could be so poor, but you have no humility in you. You could look humble, but you have it not. But someone can be so rich, but they don't carry pride. They are so humble. Of course, you see it every day. So it's not about status. It's about the heart. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honor. So if you want to get elevation in life, if you want to get honor, humility is the way. Number three, humility opens the doorway to receive help. A proud person that feels like they are self-sufficient rarely or seldom want to ask for help. But a humble person can be who they are, honest and transparent. If they don't have, they can easily ask someone, I do not have. Can you help me? They can go to God easily because they don't have this pride that they are perfect. You know, Jesus gave example of two people that went to pray. The other one was a publican and the other one was a sinner. The religious person and the sinner. The religious person thought he's perfect. He has his life in order. So he deserves something from God. But the sinner is here begging God, I don't deserve anything. And that's way to receive grace. That's way to receive mercy when you know you don't deserve it. And Jesus then quoted this scripture again that, Pride goes before a fall. God abases the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. It's only a sick person that needs a doctor. Someone who is sick and doesn't believe that they are sick will not want to go to a doctor. Even when you bring a doctor, they will still be denying the fact that they are sick. So it's only when you are humble that you could be in a place of being open to receive help from God and for men. Number four, humility brings elevation. As much as your motive to be humble should not be to get God to elevate you. Humility is a principle that will bring you up. It's a Bible principle. It's a spiritual principle that will lift you up. So your motive to be humble should not be because you want to be lifted up. It should be a real humility. You want to look like Jesus. You want to become like Jesus. You want to live in honor to God. You want your life to show the light of God. So when you allow God's light to shine on your life and you embrace God fully, then His light can reflect through you to your world. And that's when elevation comes to you. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Humility is the avenue to glory, to elevation, to greater heights, to more. And this humility is about having a servant heart, not regarding yourself higher than other people, but counting yourself not more significant than others, but just being who you are. The simplicity of your attitude and character and personality. Not trying to overemphasize your importance above other people. And that is the mind of Christ. So if you are really humble and want your humility to bring you to a place of elevation, humility is not about you agreeing with the culture and forsaking the kingdom principles. Remember this, if you have a lofty opinion of yourself and seek to be honored, you will be humbled. But if you have a modest opinion about yourself and choose to humble yourself, you will be honored. So humility is not about the outward appearance like Jesus said in Matthew 23, that the Pharisees and the scribes 
they were washing the outer part of the cup, but the inside is rotten. It's about the inward. You could dress humble, talk humble with a very low tone, but then you don't have humility. And God is calling you, if you want to go up in life, you have to be humble. Humility should be at the core of your being. I hope this video has been a blessing to you. Give this video a thumbs up if it has been a blessing to you. And subscribe to this channel. It will help me keep on doing this work. It is a pleasure to have you watch this video. Thank you so much. Bye.